www.healthcmi.com. The Healthcare Medicine Institute, Acupuncturist Continuing Education Online. Welcome to part two of the Wisdom of Chinese Medicine Dietetics. Okay, uh, so we probably moved to the uh, you know the uh, UTI those kind of things. So we have several you know the uh, uh, we call lean symptoms in the TCM, but uh, we now we be go to one by one. Okay, the first one we talked about is the uh, rare lean, that meaning heat kind of lean syndrome. We know that there will be what whatever the patient had the urination with the heat kind of syndrome. That meaning like burning or whatever they will be, you know, the tongue showing is a heat. Uh, that will be used, you know, one of the very powerful um, on the formula uh, we call Tao Tzu San. But now we be used to call dietetic Tao Tzu San. Then you can be uh, recommendation to the patient to uh, take that. So they can be very strong as like a Tao Tzu San. You know, we people know what Tao Tzu San meaning that. Like a guy, the um, rat, owl, the powder. So then the ingredient will be what? It's Dan Zhu Ye, uh, bamboo leaf, Sheng Gan Chao, you know, the raw liquid, and also Sheng Di Huang. And on original should be Mu Tong. So now I will be make a little bit change it. So then we be what they become a dietetic recipe. Bam, the first one Dan Zhu Ye, the bamboo should, we can be get the bamboo leaf, you know, uh, buy it from the herb store, we can. But also many now in something like uh, uh, American people in the bad yard, they grow, you know, the bamboo for decoration. So you actually can be just take the uh, fresh bamboo leaf. It's very good to easy, okay, uh, it's organic, uh, it's uh, available all the time because the bamboo leaf, they is uh, evergreen. Uh, they never, you know, dry out, so they always happen, always have that kind of leaf available. Sheng Gan Chao, the same thing too, you can buy anywhere. Okay, it's the raw liquid. Sheng Di Huang, that will be optional. So if we can get it from the, uh, you know, the herbless, we can. And otherwise, we can be just without that. Then the four one too, on the original, the formula will be have Mu Tong. But the Mu Tong will be what? Uh, it had to be ordered from the herb store and it has slightly toxic too. So then we will be what? We can be substituted another one. It's no taste at all. That will be a similarity like a Mu Tong we call Tong Chao. Okay, so Tong Chao is what then? It's very interesting. Uh, they are like a styrofoam, like a plastic things. We ship it like, you know, Amazon. <laughs> it definitely but, yeah. looks like. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like. They no taste at all. Yeah. Okay, so then we be what? It is good for the hot fire. So that's what we be use at that kind of uh, dietetic recipe. Uh, for Because, you know, the heat kind of the UTI, um, some is very big use issue for some patient. Because they on and off for some reason, okay? Because actually it's, uh, you know, the uh, immunity problem. So then after they get the treatment from the um, Western doctor, like an antibiotic, then getting better. But then later on, they get again. Okay? So then uh, we need to be do something about without, you know, those kind of chemical. So that's one of the choice. So if you, I say like a simple Tao Tzu San, you only can be get just everywhere you can easy to get it. Dan Zhu Ye, you know, the bamboo leaf. Then you put a little bit of Sheng Gan Chao, that's it. Okay, then they will be had similarity effect like, uh, you know, Tao Tzu San. Of course, you, you buy add more like uh, Sheng Di or Tung Chao, uh, that will be even better. So that the kind of recipe you can be also 
you know, for herbless too. They can be used that for instead the normal, you know, the Dao Chi San. So again, here's an everyday mm-hmm. drinking tea for people with chronic mm-hmm. UTI problems. Uh, you know, we have the, you know, damp heat in the lower jaw, damp heat in the urination bladder, but we also have heart fire transfers to small intestine type yeah. UTI. So if there is a lot of liver cheese stagnation or Shen issues, Mm -hmm. Uh, heart fire issues in the patient Mm -hmm. emotionally also Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. than something like this as a drinking tea in the diet we can give them Mm -hmm. is a great choice to -hmm. prevent and eventually eliminate chronic Mm -hmm. UTI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And by the way, because actually uh, when we say those kind of, uh, uh, like, you know, for the simple method to be treated the UTI is also recommendation people to uh, drinking more, even just drinking more water. It still will be help, okay? But like that kind of thing is similar to like a water, but much stronger. Mm. So that will be, uh, because they will be have the body flushing, you know, all those kind of toxicity or, you know, the bacteria, they will be, you know, come out, you know, by the urination system. Okay, so uh, that's what for the heat lean. So we can do the next slide, uh, that will be called Shi Lin. That is stone. So we talk about those kind of stone, of course, clinically, uh, we talk about is the uh, small size, like uh, usually less than, you know, uh, 1 cm or whatever, just say 0.5 cm, because that will be a chance to be pass by the body itself okay so then uh, some um, even though they had the uh, uh, stone is multiple area okay or you know had uh, especially good is for something like a sandy kind so then uh, on the conventional western medicine I think people know that uh, they dealing with the stone, either they will be used the, uh, you know, conventional like a surgery to open up, then to be, you know, and otherwise they had new technology, it would be what, uh, something like a powerful shake way or something like that, soak the body into the, you know, to the board, I mean, the water bath, then they sending out something, you know, the, but it still need to be what, Breaking the all those kind of stone into a small pieces is still painful, and also they still need the body to be, you know, um, come out by the urination system. Okay, so then now we be give you something to be like uh, can be prevention or can be do uh, you know what uh, uh, after they during the those kind of medical uh, possession to be past the stone. Or whatever we just say, the small stone, we just use it that instead of any another method. Okay? So one will be what? Jin Chen Chao. Uh, why we mention that? Because one is the taste. Because Jin Chen Chao, his taste is good. And also the Jin Chen Chao can be buy it in market. Asian markets Asian will market. have it in They just the selling herbal. like, you know, yeah. put it in the plastic bag as like a food. So yeah, you can see a whole bunch of herbs, even pre-made formulas in an Asian market, and Jin Chen Chao will be right there. It's so valuable, a gold yeah. coin. Herb. Yeah, cocoa coin, uh, you know, herb or something. Grass. Because the shape is look like, you know, uh, with a yellow gold color with the shape is like a round. It, look like corn. And maybe because it's so valuable too, it's a wonderful herb. <laughs> it, it very effective uh, yeah. for stone lin. Mm-hmm. The second herb we will be, uh, or whatever food, we will be make that recipe together. There will be yi yi ran. Again, so then everybody know that, you know, drops here. Okay, you can buy anywhere, including in the, you know, health store or in the, even though in the, uh, say way or something. Yeah, so yi yi ran, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes uh, mislabeled as pearl barley. 
Yeah. Uh, not quite, uh, but it's uh, that's one of the titles you'll find Yi Ren in a, a, a common marketplace or in an Asian market, job steers. Uh, or, of course, get it directly from your herbal supplier where you know you can control the quality, no sulfur, vacuum sealed, etc. And you can give to the patient like that also. The third one, even more common. We call it Te Chen Chao, but actually they grow in everywhere in the front yard or back yard. <laughs> yes. uh, that we call planting leaf, right? Or planting grass. Uh, that would be, uh, uh, if you go Google, so uh, imaging or something, you can be easy to identify. Uh, you know, the TCM, we use it, Te Chen Zi, you know, the seed is for the you know, uh, more use it for uh, same thing, for, for more use it, but also good for the eyes too. But now we can be uh, use it that for, like, you know, the fresh, uh, the whole grass, um, plantain, you know. Uh, Chi Chan Chao. Yeah, Chi Chan Chao. And uh, it's also very, very good for skin disorders, too, yeah, which yeah, is nice about Chechen Chao. Yeah, chao. So uh, <clears throat> maybe not as strong a function, but again, this is dietetics. So in mm -hmm. dietetics, we don't need to worry about that concentrated herbal potency. Rather, we want something long-term as part of a diet or gently to help the patient without uh, disturbing the flavors. Mm -hmm. So Chechen Chao is perfect because it has a more mild flavor mm -hmm. so then um if you know don't have Che Chen Chao you can be instead the Che Chen Chao so, yeah it's the same thing but stronger uh flavor maybe too yeah like it's Che Chen Chao uh, Che Chen Chao be not that much flavor yeah mm -hmm. then another one Dong Gua again so then those kind of uh, ingredients you'll be all cooked together uh, become a nice soup. What other things could we add to this soup to, to give it some flavor? Can you add a, like a protein, like a tofu, something, something? Uh, uh, yeah, you can do. Yeah. Or, but generally speaking, we say probably, you know, you add something can be help to promote the uh, urination. Uh, but how about just put, uh, you know, what the bamboo leaf again? Uh -huh. Dan do ye? So okay. again, mixing and matching these things that promote urination are perfect mm -hmm. uh, in this situation. Mm -hmm. So now we'll be talking about the uh, Sherlin, okay? That will be what? Blood lean syndromes. That will be what? Uh, I think, you know, many times a uh, common happen, especially female, so they talk about, you know, the bleeding in the urination system. That actually is part of the UTI symptoms. So then we will be have something very simple recipe. It can be had that. One will be what? Yu Mi Shi. That will be what? It's just corn seal. So in the American diet, uh, we had many times have fresh corn selling. Even though now we have fresh corn selling. Mm -hmm. But people will be all peel off, you know, the seal and also the, you know, the skin, then throw away, okay? So then we be what? Uh, we actually should be keep the whole one. On herbal medicine, we just put the corn seal dry out, then become a herb, yu mi shi, okay? So then for the dietetic, you can be just put the whole corn into it. That's it. Take the whole piece of corn, yeah, put it right can, in. Yeah, but if you want, you also can just put the seal, then you eat the... Right, know, yeah. right. So mild and uh, slightly sweet, but bland. Yeah, bland. Uh, yeah. Again, promotes the urination, bland. Mm -hmm. Another one that would be called Bai Mao Gen. So that would be the... Uh, is the, uh, the root of the one of the... Uh, the baked grass, I think, can uh, we mentioned that because you can find out actually in the whole, I mean, in everywhere. You know, when you see the uh, the baked uh, grass, um, then we be had the white uh, kind of the uh, fuzzy flower. Uh, that actually is like a lugan or bai maugen. Okay, is similarity. 
So then we can be actually get that uh, local or organically to get the root. So uh, it, it doesn't matter. You get the lugen or baimaugen, it's almost the same. Okay, then you be get the you know the fresh root. Okay, to be what uh, to be good that is belong to stop the bleeding. Med, med, I mean the herbal medicine. I think they in Latin they will be could uh, call a reed or something or in English. It's a reed. Yeah, yes, yeah, kind, of, a reed, kind right? of a reed that grows in a more uh, wet or swampy areas near yeah, the riverside. Yeah, in Santa Cruz, I saw many. Yeah, they just on the you know side road. I mean, on the side of the road, they will be had. Then we have the fuzzy, you know, white flower. That's what it is. Okay, it's easy to get it. Okay, because actually now we talk about the dietetic things. Is the idea come from what? Um, fresh, local, you can get it. Okay, like uh, I, uh, we uh, talks about what is the original, you know, the herbal medicine come from, on the before, you know, the uh, earth store, we actually divide that to two different kinds. One will be what? Uh, like now we use it, or herb is dry. Okay? Because people will be, you know, storage that easier to be, you know, uh, can be last for longer. But then we should be another uh, store, herb store, is just only selling the fresh herb. But now, for many reasons, because the you know like a rent or like a people you know uh, not get used to, so then that kind of fresh up store will be getting less less until now it's disappeared. But actually, we want to put that things back again. Same thing like you know uh, vegetable too. Uh, before we all use it organic, but then later because the commercial reason, so then all the vegetable will be become a. Uh, you know, uh, something fertilizing, uh, you know, something like, uh, you know, chemical things. Then they look like better, uh, the shape, okay? But then now we find out that, that actually is uh, no good. So we go back to originally, the organic one. So then the herbal medicine, same idea. So now I think some, uh, you know, uh, uh, Herbalist or some, you know, gardener actually, uh, they will be go back to. Uh, I heard about like in um, Petaluma or something. Uh, then people will be uh, ask the owner, uh, I want to grow something uh, special, a special herb. You help me to grow that, okay? Mm -hmm. Then put you uh, to give you some money, of course, okay? Then later when harvested, then they will be able to go get the fresh one. So that's what the, uh, another good idea. So we be put the herb we be into the fresh or in the local. Then we don't need to worry about you know any pesticide or any you know uh, something they add on or any kind. Okay. So <clears throat> another one there will be what Teng Xin Chao beside the Bai Mao Gan. So that's what the herb. Uh, very interesting herb to uh, look like before we mentioned the tong chao, but different kind of the herb is same thing the stir form from the you know the plant. Then will be what uh, all those kind of uh, mild herb we put together, then we be make like a tea. Then we drinking we be have the bleeding, but also give you another. Uh, you know, uh, information too. Like those kind of bai mao gen, uh, if you're difficult to get it, so you also can be go to the, uh, like uh, Asian market, right, Ranch 99 or something. Then they will be have some package, uh, they will be selling for the children when they get the fever. So then we'll be inside, we'll be including, you know, bai mao gen and also dry, Bam, uh, dry uh, sugar can slice, okay, you know, those in year and those kind of packaging too. So you also can use it the package, uh, come by with Yumi Su or something, and they will be have similarity effect. Okay, just give you some rep information you can think about. Uh, sometimes you not really can be exactly good to get that kind of ingredient. 
But then you can be use a similarity that kind of ingredient substitute it. The idea is just say, you know, you want to be uh, make your body cleansing to be, you know, have the uh, bleeding urination to become a clear. So what are one of the children formulas? Um... Uh, they sell it is like a packaging. Yeah, it's so including is by Malgan. Yeah, exactly. Like this this, very yeah. Good. So uh, then uh, you be exactly this packaging because now they have something like a label or something to be blocking. But inside you can see uh, it's mainly is something like uh, uh, dry uh, bamboo. I mean not bamboo. Uh, is uh, actually that uh, uh, imaging. Uh, one will be carrot, but beside the carrot, another one will be can be in, uh, something like uh, uh, sugar can, but also is something by Malgan. It's a lead. It looks like that shape. Because the lead, um, you know, the by Malgan, the shape is look like small uh, sugar can. Then you if you eat fresh, you know, the root, they have somewhat sweet too. And also uh, good can. Yeah, it's good usually can, in there. Yeah. Uh, and had e ran e ran yeah. so this kind of thing is uh, mm -hmm. common in Asian markets. You can make yeah. your own version, yeah. a nice mix for your patients to, yeah. to cook anytime when the mm -hmm. children maybe have a light fever, yeah. not feeling mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. but also uh, maybe helping uh, when people have blood limb. Mm -hmm. So this is a great one to, uh, mm -hmm. to get back to. Okay, uh, we take a look at another one that will be more complicated. So we call Gao Lin. Uh, why then? Because, uh, you know, like a heat lin, like a stone lin, okay, like bloody lin, uh, usually is related with the uh, infection, okay, like UTI, those kind of situations, or stone. But now this one, Gao Lin, usually is related with something like uh, chronic nephritis is the kidney, you know, the function had failure. Then because the, uh, you know, the protein uh, cannot <clears throat> feel that by, you know, the kidney unit, then they come out to the urination. They will become uh, look like cloudy and look like had something like a creamy, uh, that kind of condition. So we call that is gali. So then usually people who had that gal in general speaking is uh, is already had, you know, uh, kidney function damage already. If we didn't have method or, you know, uh, to stop it, uh, then they will be go to dialysis because the kidney will be not work anymore. So that's why we say that kind of gal in the condition is general speaking is pretty uh, more like serious. So now uh, we have some patient who uh, they um, referral myself to referral from the uh, Western practitioner. Uh, they already had lab tests. Say, you know, the uh, thirty percent or whatever forty percent or twenty five percent the. Uh, kidney function left over. Then they say you should be go to, you know, uh, dialysis pretty soon. Okay, but then uh, we had somewhat method to help them. We cannot say totally be reversed to the, you know, to the uh, normal kidney function, but we can be able to, like. Uh, uh, have them to be stopped or very, you know, we be have them to be just say like uh, no going to the dialysis step. So fast. here's here's something that's dietary where we want to avoid dialysis. Yeah. Uh, we see the caiklin, the gaolin, the, the cloudy urination. Yeah. Uh, the, the blood tests are showing uh, kidney failure. Yeah. And now we want to do something in the diet so that we can stop this train from going in the yeah, wrong direction, the get them away from yeah. going downhill with the kidney. If we catch it early enough, we may be able to prevent dialysis. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. Yeah. The first important nerve, that would be Shan Yao. I think Mountain we have Yam. A, let's see if we have a fresh picture. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's Shan Yao. That's really good. So uh, we get that fresh picture. So now, 
uh, whatever, even though I'm U.S. long time too, so when I come, uh, like, you know, for the past uh, 10 years or something, or uh, 15 years ago or 20 years ago, we never can get the Shan Yao in the market, the fresh one, <clears throat> okay? But same again, like I mentioned, when the uh, market demand, okay, one will be like a more large population uh, from like Asia. But not the only reason. Because also we be had another, like you know, the American people here, uh, now we be, you know, had more open and had more knowledge from the, um, you know, the herbal medicine or the Asian food. So now we be what, the Shan Yao, the fresh one, is everywhere in the Asian market. I guess later on might be will be available in, uh, you know, in even Safeway or somewhere. Okay, because I can sort of change it. Same like tofu too. Tofu, you know, 30 years ago or 40 years ago, you never can buy it from the Safeway or anywhere. Okay, but now, you know, tofu you can buy everywhere. So the Shan Yao too. So because the, you know, the market demand so then people will be get that fresh one, ship it to, you know, here, so selling. Now it's everywhere available in the Asian market. So then in the herbal medicine, we can use it the dry one, but then we can use it the fresh one. Okay, the fresh one, now I think people, we call that called mountain yam, right? <clears throat> so that will be what? Uh, pretty good taste or whatever is not that strong taste, it's mild, but they can match with any kind of the food. Mm. Okay, so then now people know it. Besides we talked about now gaolin, you know, it's very good for, uh, it's kind of like, uh, you know, um, female uh, hormone related. Okay, like people who get the menopausal or something, then they will be used for like dietetic to be happy you know, put the natural, like plant, you know, uh, female hormone, the level, to subside, you know, something like uh, menopausal. Which is very popular now. People have a cream that they rub on to absorb yeah, through them. Yeah, powder. Dioscorea yam. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we know it uh, to tonify chi, benefit the spleen and stomach chi. Yeah. Um, and so. it basically is food. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, another one will be Huang Qi. So we compare that again. So the Huang Qi will be, uh, uh, now will be very popular already. People know that in Latin called uh, astragalus, right? right? So that will be <clears throat> almost everybody know. So the uh, Huang Qi, uh, that will be what uh, is very mild taste too. Uh, when we choose that kind of recipe, like uh, we mentioned, when we always will be uh, talks about medicinal effect, but also we want to be attractive, the patient to be, you know, taking that without because you know, uh, like uh, chronic nephritis or whatever diabetes or any kind, they make the kidney damage. So then we be what we uh, won't expecting, you know, several, um, you know, bad of the herb or something can be made dramatically changing. It had to be taken for a long time. So then if they take like, a, you know, conventional, we say Liu Wei Di Huang Huan or whatever, uh, Zi Bai Di Huang Huan or those kind of tea, I don't think they can be stand that for too long. Even though they know that it's half, but it's, when cooking too long, those kind of tea, they will be what? They will be, you know, uh, bored with that or whatever the taste is not very attractive. So now we use it, that switch to be the dietetic thing. We always, we want to be so let some herb taste is good. Okay, but will be has similarity exact, like a formula. So Shan Yao, we know, is tastes good. Then plus Huang Qi, same thing, is very good. But now we're talking about the third key ingredient. 
So we call that is Dong Chong Xia Chao. We let's we talk about it a bit more in there. So we can be uh, get the you know the imaging from Dong Chong Xia Chao. Do we have that? Oh, not, not today. <laughs> oh. But it sure is a strange one. I encourage people <laughs> no, but in to the, look at actually, this. Actually, uh, we in the market, Dong Chong Xia Chao, we never can get the real one. Yeah. yeah it's too expensive. S- yeah, but now I, in the market, we have available <clears throat> something. Because Dong Chong Xia Chao, one will be the one. One will be the mushroom. I think for the now the technology, uh, we can be able to get uh, the yeah. <clears throat> mushroom. Not the uh, whole yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I heard about uh, some student told me, even though we had some company in Santa Cruz uh, selling that kind of Dong Chong Xia Chao powder in the market. So uh, they say what they, how they make that? They say to make that one or the like uh, walk in refrigerator, the big refrigerator. Mm. Then they modify, you know, something like, uh, uh, because you know what the original, the Dong Chong Xia Chao is growing in Tibet. So then they will be um, modified, see how much, te- uh, you know, what the temperature. And also, the, they need to be had, like, a lower oxygen, you know. Uh, then they will be, you know, to make the environmental look like, you know, the Dong Chung Xia Chao grow over there. So then they will be using the lab test to make the powder, to make the, like, mushroom. Right, yes. right, right. Then after you make the mushroom, then you make whatever the form, like a powder or tablet or anything. Even though I think you now in the market, every they say Dong Chong Xia Chao is not the real one. It's all something look like that. But just different company to make. So here, here you'll need to go to <clears> herbal <throat> medicine supplier to get true, uh, the true Dong Chong Xia Chao because it's... Uh, very expensive. Yeah, very expensive. So yeah. now, like in online, you know, people order all those kinds of Dong Chong Xia Chao powder. I think it's all come from the, you know, like I say, those kinds of bad food. Right, right, lab right. Lab food. But if you, if, you know, if your patients <clears throat> don't mind paying for it, then uh, supply them with it and yeah. get it from your herb company. It's very good. Mm-hmm. No doubt about that one. Uh, so we just need to get a little bit of research, see which, you know, company they providing those kind of uh, Dong Chong Xia Chao, the powder or tablet is, uh, you know, the good one, good quality, then we be, you know, put in that recipe. Because that will be what? Uh, we uh, uh, use it that uh, usually need to be cooked with the turtle soup. Okay, so then the Dong Chong Xia Chao, you don't need to cook them. Okay, then you just make the, like, uh, tablet or powder, after you know the tea finish, you just dissolve. But also now another choice too. Uh, the Dong Chong Xia Chao, they also can selling, you know, the mushroom. Not exactly, but similarity, they call Chong Chao Hua, Dong Chong Xia Chao flower. I think they, you can see it in the market. They put it in the packaging too. Mm-hmm. It looks like yellow kind of the small uh, mushroom. Dong Chong Hua. Yeah, Dong Chong Hua. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, so. Is it your, t- your water? Oh, is we have some tea going. We definitely <laughs> always have some pu air going. I'll go get that in a moment. Uh, so, in the United States, turtle soup is not legal. Oh, turtle uh, soup. Yeah, not, not legal. legal. <laughs> so, what, what would we use uh, for the yin essence here? Uh, yeah. So uh, if not regal, so we will be just uh, uh, switch to uh, somewhat like uh, uh, lean pork meat, lean pork meat, lean like pork cow meat, right. gui ban. Gui ban, I think, is Little legal. Little ban. Yeah, yeah, gui yeah. ban, they still yeah, can yeah, be yeah, imported yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, And if you get from a reputable herbal medicine dealer, then you know the mm. source is better. And mm-hmm. there are some companies that are very strict about mm-hmm. the source of turtle products. And mm-hmm. so if you're going to use turtle products, I... Definitely recommend you go with more reputable companies. Mm, okay. So then uh, we know that uh, that kind of, uh, you know, gaolin condition or whatever we say, the uh, kidney failure condition, uh, they have some study uh, in the, 
um, in China, uh, uh, for use of the Dong Cheng Xia Chao, uh, I think uh, that's why you know that herb now become uh, that expensive because they have something showing the study is Dong Cheng Xia Chao definitely can do, do it two important things. Uh, they will be, like I mentioned, have the, you know, the kidney failure uh, will be, uh, say, will be stabilized. Then other things will be for the liver, like the liver sources. Uh, that kind of condition, same thing too, will be stabilizing. So that's why Dong Chung Xia Chao now will be getting that expensive. Okay? Uh, and otherwise, you know, people is not use it for looking or not like jewelry or gold. Uh, how come they will be, you know, the price will be uh, go up that much then? Uh, of course, there's some reason. Your people, you know, take them, then later on they will be what? Uh, like I mentioned, of course, some will be even though reverse a little bit, you know, the kidney failure condition. Some even though just say, you know, stabilizing stuff, not that, you know, uh, area to have to be do the dialysis. Okay, uh, that will be, uh, we talked about. So okay. again, it's, it's really a precious herb in that sense <coughs> that it, mm -hmm. it's not only unique in that it's both an animal and a plant, and a fungus. It's yeah, very yeah. interesting mm -hmm. uh, when when we look at Dong Chung Sha Chao. But the fact that we can use this simple dietetics modification of uh, cooking a soup, maybe with lean pork meat or maybe uh, in other Gui countries, ban, turtle yeah. soup, mm -hmm. but lean pork meat with Gui Ban and maybe Shan Yao and Huang Chi. Well, actually, I think you say the turtle is illegal, but how about water turtle? I think water turtle is legal, uh, right? I saw in serving in some where you know the you know water turtle and turtle is different you know mm. water turtle will be consumed kind of like fish i've not seen it maybe things have changed i mean i remember the eagle was on the endangered species list and now it's not uh in some i think mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. uh because mm -hmm. it made such a strong comeback which is wonderful uh mm -hmm. so i may not be up on my latest laws and mm -hmm. regulations uh mm -hmm. but i thought that it was a federal fine to even be near the water turtle but I'm not so sure. So uh, w check with your state and national laws, everybody, because <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, okay. <laughs> our continuing education is global, so yeah. people come from Belgium and Ukraine and many places uh, <laughs> to uh, see our uh, seminars at healthcmi.com for acupuncture mm -hmm. CEU. So yeah. uh, check, make sure uh, what you're doing is legal and what your recommenda <laughs> recommendations yeah. are legal yeah. okay. and available, yeah, which is yeah. really the, the real challenge mm -hmm. in dietetics. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Uh, and the Guiban can be uh, from reputable herbal companies. Oh, actually, another, uh, you know, uh, something substitution, probably, you know, how about, uh, you know, what the, uh, the frog, okay? Frog. <laughs> yeah, frog leg, it should be, you know, totally illegal, <laughs> like a frozen frog. Or legal. <coughs> it is. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. It is legal. I yeah, yeah, yeah. So frog, no problem. And then uh, you like frog? You know, the, I, yeah, the frog I like it too because what well, you know the uh, something like uh, uh, the character uh, will be similarity because you know the yeah. way ban uh, or whatever the turtle they live in the water. you know the water right. area. Okay, uh, then they will be you know like a more like a yin kind of animal. Okay, because in here the idea is what we need to be um, same thing too. When we talk about formula, uh, we need to be have something called <clears throat> leading channel up. Okay, for example, like, uh, okay, how we will be make, uh, you know, the herb function going to the liver or the Shao Yang. So we need to choose Tai Hu. Okay, that's what we talked about called uh, channel leading up. Dietetic, same idea. Besides, we have something, you know, recipe, but we need to have some key recipe to, like leading, you know, to be, uh, generally in TCM we call the uh, somewhat shape to the somewhat shape, okay? Like leg to leg or whatever, you know, something. <laughs> I like that, somewhat shape to somewhat shape. Yeah, like yeah, that. somewhat <laughs> Okay, so then yeah. we'll be what? Uh, that will be the frog will be has somewhat look like you know, turtle. So that's what we mentioned. If something are not available, uh, we try to, you know, to think about that. We see some kind of things look like, then we might be, can be, you know. Use as a substitute. Yeah, use and it's a in, in the water. 
Yeah. So it has more mm-hmm. of a yin property to yeah. the frog. Mm-hmm. But, you know, even from the nutrition things, uh, same thing too. You know, the uh, frog meat is actually is very good. Very high quality. Yeah, high quality of the uh, meat, less, you know, the fat. So same as like a, you know, a turtle. All right, so we can use the frog with the shan ya, with the huang mm-hmm. chi, make a mm-hmm. nice dish. Yeah. Then, uh, if you have a dong chong sha chow in tablet form, add it at the end to dissolve into it. Yeah, Don't cook powder it or tablet. Yeah. If you have it in the whole herb form, cook it, what, last 10 minutes maybe? Yeah, that would be good too. Not the whole time. I think mm-hmm. uh, too strong mm-hmm. to cook it that long. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and I'll work on some nice recipes with this a little bit uh, because uh, mm-hmm. without the need for turtle in the mm-hmm. soup with the frog is a great idea. Yeah. And there are definitely chefs who can get this one right. Uh, as a stew, as a soup, there's a lot of preparations here mm-hmm. that we can get in. Uh, mm-hmm. And mostly things are in the tongue, in the soup form mm-hmm. uh, and, and as a tea form, decoction form. Is there another way to prepare this uh, not so much in a soup form like... Um, Cook it down so it's just a little sauce at the end, or not really? Uh, actually, uh, for the dietetic things, like for this one too, you can be also uh, considering another uh, form. Uh, you can be put all like powder mm. to become a cream. Okay, how exactly do that? Like Shan Yang, so you need to be buy at something like... Uh, powder. Uh, gran- Granule? No, no, uh, grain machine. Like some oh, people, yeah, sure. some, you know, actually every herb you can make like powder, right? Right. So right, you can right. order them, but you can be actually do it by yourself. You can be just, if for herbless, you can buy something heavy duty. A grinder. Yeah, grinder. The, the powder Then, machine. you know, you can put the shen yao, like a uh, powder, even huang qi. It can be powder because right. you chop it in small pieces, then you put it in the grinder. Then they become, a, you know, powder. Then, of course, Dong Chung Sha Chao too, you know, the mushroom, okay? So that um, actually every um, recipe, uh, the powerful one, of course, we say tea, the original form, okay? But you can think about any another uh, idea. Mm-hmm. Like you can make cream or you can be, be make something like a bun or make something... So make it like uh, even for the dim sum <coughs> bun. Yeah, it, dim sum style. Can do, do some that style, too. okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm trying to be creative because, here like recipes. here, is not that much uh, demand. So then, uh, in the restaurant, we don't have something uh, special. Uh, but in China, like I just come back from the vacation, mm-hmm. so then uh, they had some big restaurant. It's all the dishes. It's somewhat form or make with certain uh, mm-hmm. everyone. So then they will record that is the uh, like Yao uh, Shan, they call, you know, whatever say, dietetic cuisine restaurant. So then we be what? They will be use it, you know, uh, every dish. Every dish, right. Yeah, so every sauce, called, every, something, somewhat, every flour. Uh, yeah. And uh, so this is where we can be really creative is you can take something like this and create a flour from it, a powder yeah. to uh, when you make the dim sum buns. Uh, then we have the soup. Uh, when you add to stew, uh, you can pour, if you prepare frog's legs, you can pour the cream over like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's a few ways to go with that. Mm-hmm. And again, uh, I think this is an expanding field because in America, uh, people don't think about food like this. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, hey, someone may be uh, heading towards uh, the need for dialysis, but no, we will change the diet, and now mm-hmm. the kidney function will be stronger over time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's the approach of dietetics. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, you know, that's uh, actually the quail came up there, and that's something we use in uh, children's medicine a lot, the, the quail. It's very easy to digest. It's a high level of nutrition, provides good flavor. Uh, you can put the quail in a rice cooker. So get the rice mostly done, then put the quail on top and then close for the next few minutes until the quail is done. It cooks into the rice and serve for children. We like that a lot. Uh, and also we're going to take a look now at some herbal medicines uh, 
and how we can identify them in the marketplace and also how to use them uh, in different dishes. Uh, actually, here we're looking at Yuxing Chow in the marketplace as a fresh green. Um, and there's there's many things you can find. You can find Gugan in the market. Uh, we looked at Heimu Er. Of course, you can get that uh, you know, from your herbal medicine supplier, Tung Choi or uh, Tung Xin Chow. Uh, sometimes called spinach, like given a, a name of spinach uh, or Vietnamese spinach or something like this. The name does vary. Here's An Choi and U Jie. Uh, again, uh, never prepare. This is for stop bleeding, but U Jie also sold in the markets. Remember U Jie, um, uh, lotus foot never cook in iron so stainless steel only uh, can make a little bit toxic effect so we definitely don't want that uh, and we'll we'll look at some other herbs here papaya is very common pomelo uh, so many things and purple yam which is actually a little more nutritious the darker rich color we know that it's more for the kidney cheap because the kidney has the darker color and the purple for the purple yam matches that so uh, it's very filled with nutrients and uh, shan yao which we covered in detail which you can cook with now and have a lot of fun with so we'll be going over a bunch of these uh, so that everyone can have a look and uh, also ask questions if you want to know different dishes that we can uh, make different things from them and Jeffrey I wanted to talk about uh, uh -huh. a couple things uh, and before we get into that, uh, what about cooking with Yuxing Chow? I wanted to... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Actually, uh, that's what uh, very interesting thing too. Uh, because uh, the Yuxing Chow, actually, before the Vietnamese, uh, you know, the immigrant more come here, we never can find out anything in the uh, supermarket. Uh, but now, because same thing, you know, the market demand, so then... Uh, because in Vietnamese, that is considered kind of make like salad, okay? But then, actually, that is the powerful herb. Uh, we, after we dry out, then we become a, you know, uh, like we use it for the uh, lung abscess or coughing, uh, using towel, okay? But then in the Vietnamese uh, cooking, they talk. Uh, they use that as like a kind of uh, uh, like we use a salary or something like a uh, chive or kind of kind of spicy or okay uh, salad or things like that. So then, how we can be make that kind of uh, like using how to be as a like fat as like a, uh, we need to be <clears throat> again the cooking way very, very important. So uh, then. Uh, we need to be to use the whole bunch of them, okay? Like uh, you know, couple ones uh, or, or even half pound or something. Then you be we can again we need to be do the like soup, okay? So then uh, if we just like uh, uh, like American cooking, uh, we put the chive, then you chop it uh, uh, or sorrento or something. Then we just put it on the top of the food to be make the uh, flavor, so that will be not in fat. So then, uh, mostly we go back to basic form of the dietetic. Generally speaking, we say it should be mostly <clears throat> make like a decoction. That is the original form. Okay, I give you another example. Like a chive, you can be make the you know the imaging of chive. Uh, I think we have some chives, yeah. Yeah, like this one. Like this one, actually, <clears throat> it's not a good form. <laughs> Why? Because they have something uh, different method. <clears throat> Excuse me. To make like uh, you know they blocking the sunshine. To make that things look like yellow. And tender, okay, but that is not the original type. The original type should be green, okay, uh, should be, you know, uh, much uh, more fiber than this one. And, and because that's like that for, market, you know, yeah. just yeah. for cooking purposes. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is uh, one chai, but I think the green kind yeah, is the, commonly available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can green, get chai. I think in, uh, you know, like uh, Safeway or something had, can be sold. Yeah, the, yeah. They the green kind. Yeah, then will be what? Like, uh, you know, people cooking, uh, normally they just want to get the flavor, then they chop it into the small pieces, then they, you know, like uh, spicy, they put on the like Garnish a, on yeah, top yeah, sure, or something, something. over there. Yeah, yeah. There will be no medicinal function at all. Because it's say, you know, when we're taking any things like uh, uh, herb, but also the even chemical thing too, you need to be rich of the certain dosage to get the fat, isn't it? So then the, uh, you know, the dietetic or herbal medicine, it's the same idea. Uh, we need to be had enough the amount of the dosage, okay? So like this one too, if, um, you can eat like that, but also another another idea, you can make juice. Fresh juice. Yeah, the same make that. There will be same thing too, you know, you see how much bunch can be made the juice. So that meaning, you know, what, how, you know, the uh, among, you know, the powerful, uh, the dosage, you know, come from that. So maybe so, with a daikon or something for uh, lungs, like uh, a juice, daikon. Yeah, Asian yeah. So thing. actually that will be, uh, we talked about the dietetic, the powerful form, beside the caution, is also juice. Right. Yeah. So then the, of course, the caution is a little better. Why then? Like we mentioned, because, you you know, we cook it. Then we be, you know, to make them uh, have more concentrate. Then you make the juice, it's the same thing, it's concentrate, but because it just need to be the human body. You know, like stomach, uh, need to cook. So that's only different. And otherwise, the dosage is the same. Okay? So we concentrate. Both so the Yuxing Chow... So then either way, you can be make whole couple bunches right to be make tea but also you can be make juice but not steamed and served as a green um that's okay too but probably is not that strong not, not because now we be looking for to cheating some symptoms instead we just say general nutrition thing because you know general nutrition things it doesn't matter okay we just you know get the benefit from the nutrient Right. Okay. But now in here, like uh, we talked about, actually I tell you what too, like uh, now I have uh, a little bit like uh, you can see here something cough or the throat a little bit. Actually, when I just come back from China, even worse. Because, you know, uh, travel, you know, and also, we, uh, uh, you know, the um, tiredness or something, then, you know, uh, that will be make, uh, you know, sore throat. And, you know, the lost voice too. Then when I come back, I, you know, taking some herb. Uh, but then also I find out one or that very interesting thing too. Actually, uh, I had uh, put it in my uh, camera uh, because I had home, I had one plan. Um, <clears throat> I don't know in English is what, uh, but it's somewhat related with like a aloe flower, mm -hmm. somewhat related. Uh, but that flower is very really interesting. Uh, you know, they look like aloe. Then we be had flower, but the flower only just open in the night time, for a certain hour, mm -hmm. like a three four hour. Then later on will be never open again. But I know that flower is somewhat related with, uh, we talked about in here, the aloe called flower. aloe flower. Right. Then I just, even fresh, I cut it after, you know, the flower is uh, finished. Actually, later, if we, I had time, I can send you that picture, <laughs> you know, okay. the, the flower. Because I, 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 I take it at night, okay, because they are very interesting plant. They only just open at night. Then I take that, fresh. I just cook a little bit water, then put a little bit ice, uh, ice sugar. Then next day, I feel much better already. All right, it is. well, I'm, it I'm is. looking forward to learning more about that. Yeah, it is. I yeah. can send you the picture about this, uh, this plant. Uh, but basically, it looks like uh, 
you know, aloe flower. You can make the, you know, the imaging, see if we can get the aloe flower. I'm looking around for <coughs> at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we may not be able to pull that up, but so the aloe flower, uh, also good. Yeah, aloe flower, also good. But because I just, oh, you know, I get the fresh one, why not, you know, to use the fresh one? All right. So, uh, yeah, very pretty look like. But that kind of, you know, the aloe flower will be uh, just uh, the, uh, you know, the stem will be a little bit longer and also they are, um, you know, dry out. Uh, then we'll be using the flower as a dietetic thing. Yeah. Or we cannot get it, huh? Uh, <coughs> I'm looking for it. Uh, and I'm not so sure we have it, but we do have, I found Chin Chan Fa. And no, oh, fun. yeah, you can show again too. The Tung Tung Hua is good to know too. Okay, the, the mm -hmm. Chin Chan Fa. Okay, yeah. so uh, let's go to that. And. But that is not like a, another substituted by, you know, the real Tung Tung Xia Chao. Yeah, it is. That's Tung Chao Hua. Yeah, I, I, I was lucky to come upon that one. And that's yeah, a good yeah, one. yeah. That will be the, uh, because that is something like we mentioned is uh, artificial. Uh, they try to be get that uh, mushroom, looks like that, the Dong Chung Xia Chao, the mushroom, but it's not the, exactly. Not the real thing, not no, quite as strong. The, no, no, not the real thing. Not but, the, you know, it's for good every substitution. Day. Yes. Yeah. So again, Dong Chung Xia Chao. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for patients who uh, really want the real thing, you need to go to your reputable herbal source to get the real thing. Mm -hmm. But this Chichan Fa is uh, something, you know, you see uh, over the counter in the Asian mm -hmm. market, you can mm -hmm. use instead. Uh, and we presented that in formulas. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I was able to find it here today, mm -hmm. uh, which is, is a happy occurrence. There, there are many things you can get every day. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about a few things. We talked also about uh, using the, the kombu. Uh, so you tried to get the aloe flower? Uh, you know, it's <laughs> funny because I thought we showed it in another presentation. And yeah, I'm not yeah. seeing it at the moment. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not sure why I mm -hmm. don't see it right now. Mm -hmm. um, leafing around as you can see. So uh, we'll have to hold off on aloe flower. I think I was only in the video is what it was. Oh. And we played the video and we did oh. briefly touch on the aloe flower. Oh, so that's okay. uh, where it was mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, and that's not mm -hmm. necessarily in our pre-recorded versions, yeah, yeah. the aloe mm -hmm. flower. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll try mm -hmm. to get that back in there. Anyway, um, I probably can try to, you know, send you the flower what I told I'm very yeah. interested <laughs> in this flower yeah, that very opens interesting at night. Flower. Uh, but get, getting back to a lot of uh, <coughs> these specialty foods and fresh foods that we can use in dietetics and cooking with them, uh, you know, we we talk a lot about clearing the liver. This mm -hmm. is Chinese celery. It's mm -hmm. stronger than American mm -hmm. celery. It's mm -hmm. a slightly stronger flavor, but very good for the liver. Yeah, but uh, even though the American celery, if they able to get that, it's a similarity effect because uh, actually that will be very economic. Uh, you know, uh, if we can find out it's come from organic, the juice is very good too because many uh, veggie or, you know, the herbal medicine, we recommendation say the caution. But salary, you don't need to. Actually, the juice is stronger than the cold one. Why then? Because uh, the, you know, the salary, we want to be, get the maximum, the cooling, you know, nature. So then after you cook, that cooling might be, will be, you know, a little bit changing. We, so it depends uh... on what kind of food. Right. We, we talked about celery for hypertension. Yeah, yeah, for hypertension. That's uh, what the juice or whatever juice. just say law, you know, celery. To make that stronger, we would mm -hmm. add maybe daikon or what we add to the celery juice. Let's talk, let's talk about that for a moment because we've covered uh, yeah, that. Yeah, just the celery juice. Just straight celery. Yes, straight you don't want to add something else to uh, uh, You can, but just say that is the simple and powerful form because it's especially good for the, you know, the uh, liver yin shu yang kang condition. Right. Yeah, so, not everyone. You know, like I mentioned, some they belong to cold kind of condition, or even though they have high high blood pressure. Right. The high blood pressure not necessarily say 100%. Right, right. Is, so is high blood pressure high. due to liver 
yin shu yang kang yang Every bit of good one. The frat- celery mm-hmm. juice up mm-hmm. and Chinese celery juice a little stronger than American celery juice yes. in terms of but, function. You know, for American people it would be difficult to get that, you know, the Chinese celery, so then they just get the normal celery, it's still good that. Okay, that that's a good one to yeah. to know. Mm-hmm. Uh that they can use it instead. Yeah. Uh, And let's talk about a couple more foods also that uh, we can now see in the market. And and here's good again. Yeah, uh, that's what tricky thing too. Then the people <coughs> thinking that kind of good again is difficult to eat because they if you don't know how to cook them, it will be you know difficult. But uh, first we need to be you know peel off the skin because the skin is kind of tough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we need to be slice it. Then. Usually we don't saute at all. Uh, that gurgen is always make the a soup. Okay. Then after you make soup, that piece piece of the cook uh, gurgen is very good, able to eat them. Uh, is soft and a lot of fiber. And also the gurgen, like uh, you know, in the TCM we use it mostly for. You know, like uh, uh, muscle. You know, we call muscle layer. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. So then we be uh, even though people without any problem, uh, that is still good for like soothing. You know, like especially summertime or whatever you feel. You know, after exercise or you know somewhat like a muscle soreness, uh, that is the very you know good and strong um, recipe. Uh, to be happy. to benefit the muscle, yeah, to layer. benefit the muscle, and beside that, that gurgen is also had another function called generation of body fluid. Is for the people who who had dry dryness, okay, general yin shu condition. So that will be the good one. Fresh. So uh, if you say the people like uh, uh, southern disease or something like a very dry out in the body, right. That Show might things. be also use it fresh juice. It be stronger. So even a dry mouth, zero stomia, even oh, yeah. dry eyes, <clears throat> uh, yeah. whole body problem mm-hmm. uh, with the body fluid mm-hmm. again. Fresh better than dried because if for dryness. If for dryness, exactly. Yeah. So mm-hmm. here's an example where a little stronger. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll boil it into a soup, and then we can also eat it as well. Uh, and we talked about also if there's a blood deficiency and then people tend to have muscle cramping and muscle aching, mm-hmm. uh, tendonitis, tendon pain. Mm, uh, with that, the blood deficiency, right? With the blood deficiency. Yeah, that then you can be come by with like uh, gojizu or something. That's good combination. So gojizu, yeah, gojizu with the gogan. And making a stew, adding uh, beef shank yeah. or lamb shank uh, mm-hmm. if there's a cold condition. Yeah. And then you make that Actually, into now the uh, it's Gojizu harvest time. I already get many. <laughs> it is, yeah. So then uh, you can be cooked with that. It's a pretty good Particularly good for the blood deficiency yeah. mm-hmm. and the muscles. So for athletes, is that our number one recommendation for muscle pain, muscle ache in the diet is good again? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, for the, you know, general, general. Like the mild, you know, the muscle, you know, cramps or things like that. For elderly too. You know, because sometimes people, uh, when we practice in the clinic, we have many patients talking about, like uh, elderly. Then they will be had like uh, uh, calf muscle, especially. You know, calf muscle cramp right. at the midnight. Gastrocnemius yeah, muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or another uh, complicated, they call restless leg syndrome. Right. Yeah, so that's one of the ideas to be used for. Oh, I love that. The application <clears throat> for restless leg syndrome yeah. and calf muscle mm-hmm. uh, issues at night for the elderly. Yeah, the cramps. So we want to work, again, as a dietetics approach, we want to work it into the diet. So when they make the soups and the stews, mm-hmm. this is another ingredient. You can just add in. You don't have to add potato. You can add gogen. Yeah, or you yeah. can add uh, shanyang with yeah. uh, gogen if there's deficiency. Mm-hmm. And, and you're building your soup stock or your stew like that uh, mm-hmm. to help mm-hmm. the patient. So, and th- again, I'm, I'm trying to uh, guide us towards working out clever solutions. Then, oh, you also have, uh, you know, maybe some kind of uh, blood thickness problem. 
uh, then our uh, blocked artery problem, we might be used to yeah, hemo- hemo- or, uh, and mm-hmm. maybe can combine well with these as well. Yeah. So getting creative. So now the hemo actually, because the market demand, uh, they can be selling like, uh, because original is dry one. But now I think in the local area, I heard right. about it's in the uh, Ham Moon Bay or something, that area. Some, uh, you know, farm actually grow that fresh right. hemo. Right, so Hay The Moon, taste or, is yeah. much better than that. So Half Moon Bay is uh, just north of Santa Cruz County where we are, mm-hmm. and it's in... Um, it's uh, half. It's almost. It's halfway between here and San Francisco. Yeah. So uh, also famous for uh, Mavericks, the surfing. Mm-hmm. Even Apple Computer named their new operating system after Mavericks, uh, the surfing area. So that's mm-hmm. that area where they grow it. And there's a lot of farms in this area that are very cutting edge, introducing a lot of our herbal medicines uh, into the fresh. Uh, Ujie, when we cook with that, Jeffrey, uh, I was mentioning not to cook it with iron because it might be a little bit yeah. toxic. So mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that actually is the same thing. So later, maybe next week, or maybe not next week, the next presentation, we talk about something like uh, stomach bleeding or something. Right. We'll be talking about that. So <clears throat> we'll do that with the uh, gastric ulcer, gastritis, things like that. For the next uh, presentation. And here, here's something actually we find in your garden sometimes, right? Yeah, uh, zisuye, yeah. Zisuye. Mm-hmm. And so zisuye, you can identify it in the wild. Actually, this is a joke. In the wild, in the sushi restaurant. <laughs> in the wild sushi restaurant as a small piece of green plastic between pieces of raw fish uh, is actually simulating zisuye. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, that green piece of plastic is symbolic of this leaf, which uh, actually uh, can prevent seafood poisoning and promote digestion. So uh, it's also very good. And here, uh, Jeffrey, when we use it medicinally, again, also in the soup to benefit the stomach. Or Yeah, but also we even talk about, you know, when we get the uh, allergy, you know, food allergy, headache or things like that. Yes. So we can be do, you know, poor fang fong, then we can be put some zisu ye over there, fresh or dry. All right. So pu yeah, air, yeah, fang yeah. fang, yeah. and some zisu ye yeah. uh, for, for allergenic. For headache due to the, you know, the food allergy food allergy headache or headache due to food that. allergy mm-hmm. but not really headache with uh you want not add chuan shang in that case uh, so um chuan shang would be more for like a uh, wind cold or something yeah okay yeah, so yeah. okay so we yeah, go that is more, more like a mild to okay. see it. so yeah. uh because we've talked about adding uh, chuan shang into the tea also for drinking yeah. mm-hmm. wind cold or when there's deficiency or cold kind of headache cold, yeah. cold kind of <clears> headache <throat> um so uh some, there's, again, some clever combinations here. Now uh, someone has headache, uh, maybe they eat some uh, nuts or something their body reacts to, uh, then this is something you can add to the tea. Uh, so there's hopefully everyone's getting a feeling for some of the varieties that we can start combining things with uh, and, and really uh, changing the diet a little bit. Uh, some things are not as available as others, uh, and we've gone over many things in detail that are very powerful. Um, but let's go back to uh, a couple topics. I want to get an early preview on uh, a couple topics, and one is coronary artery disease. If we could touch on that just briefly. Okay. So uh, then the, um, mostly people know that would be the first symptoms of the later on. They might be need to be get the, uh, you know, stand or even bypass or something. Uh, for you know prevention, uh, uh, if that disease will be developing, uh, because that will be what later with like angina pain, everybody know that is serious disease. So then, uh, if people get really like earlier side of the uh, angina pain, then will be what they just like after strong exercise or climbing to the mountain or something, then they feel a little bit like uh, difficult to breathing or has something feeling of the, you know, the on the heart area. That's the case where we can be used like a dietetic to be reverse that, okay? <clears throat> because if, you know, the coronary, the arterial uh, getting narrow, then they will be have that symptoms. When they get the totally black, that meaning heart attack. So then uh, one of the kind of um, recipe uh, can be very easy to find out 
to use it and also can be very effective too. One will be uh, Sanja. I think that will be everybody know that herb or whatever food because that is just how torn. The second one, uh, there will be Hong Hua. That actually is saffron. So in the clinic or whatever in the market, we have two different kinds of the Hong Hua. Uh, one will be what uh, is related with from Sichuan. Uh, that's what the we likely use it in the uh, formula because that is much cheaper. But now if we use it for dietetic, I will be recommendation you use it Tibet Honghua or whatever we call saffron. Because actually Tibet Honghua is somewhat missing. I mean, what kind of, uh, kind of the, uh, name is not very correct because usually Tibet does not have that much that kind of uh, saffron. It's a nickname. Yeah. Oh, Tibet. No, because they are uh, originally that flower is from like uh, uh, Middle East mm. or, you know, Spain. Because they go through, you know, like a seal roll or something, then they go through maybe from you know, Tibet, then go to Sichuan right. or something. Then people will be called that flower, say, you know, uh, Tibet flower. Ah, okay. Yeah, it is. Huh. Yeah. That's so they the think reason. originally from Tibet. Yeah, And yeah, then yeah. Tibet, they say, oh, originally from Spain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, so... Uh, but that it tastes much better. Yeah. And flavor, you know that. Every, More aromatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody yeah, know yeah, that. Like, yeah. you know, Spanish uh, seafood rice or mm. something. You know, for the cooking. They usually put a little bit over there. Uh, not only just for the color, it's also for the flavor. Right. But now we talk about it's dietetic, so we might be can use it that. Uh, expensive, but when we use it a little bit, it's not that expensive. Because usually I bought that too uh, in Indian store. Because Indian use it a lot too. Uh, that would be what, like, uh, you know, one ounce or something, ten dollars or something. But you can use it for a long time. You know, you because that kind of uh, saffron. So uh, you don't need to be used a lot, German. They're just a little. Then another one, some people will be not, uh, we eat daily, but not people know that medicinal use it. Uh, that actually called, uh, in English, called shallot. Like a small red skin, small onion. Do you eat salad too? Yeah, yeah. And, I, <laughs> and, and I've had discussions with different herbalists. Is oh. xie bai, which we normally get, is a little small? Yeah, right? xie bai is kind of salad. So is and here's the question. You know, historically, you know, mm -hmm. it's hard to map this out. Is the xie bai from China? the same medicinal strength as a shallot in America. Almost the same. Almost the same. Almost and that, that's been a big question. I'm glad we talked <clears> about <throat> that. So yeah. use the shallot for people with coronary artery disease yeah. to open mm -hmm. up the chest cheek. Yeah. Okay. So we call, actually call that call chest bee pain. You know, chung bee. That's on the, you know, herbal for a long time already. Yeah. Okay. Or whatever we call... Uh, she ban sha she bai bai jiu tang or you know certain things like that, okay. So then we be what? But now we will be use a dietetic method to cook them, okay. So first we be you know cook it in the hot boiling water, okay. Then we be what? Uh, so then uh, the hong hua you actually don't need to cook, only shan jia and the salad you be cook. Okay, then we be what? <clears throat> then you put the you know the hong hua over there. Then we be make the tea uh, look like you know golden yellow. The taste is good too, but it's sour a little bit because the you know shanja. Uh, shanja. Yeah, yeah. Then another one uh, can be you know um, um, if you want, you also can be put all those kind of. Uh, ingredient um, again, whatever put like a powder, okay. Then you be what you you be 
uh, soaking in the uh, teacup to drink uh, constantly or whatever just say when you have throughout time. Throughout the day. Yeah, throughout the day. So that will be what uh, I think is very uh, good to be know. Uh, people can be, uh, you know, prevention, you know, the um, angina pain. Excellent. So a review here. <coughs> Shan Jia mm -hmm. uh, and Xie Bai or Shallots mm -hmm. uh, cook. So cook, yeah. cook uh, mm -hmm. decoction, decoction, and then and later put the hong hua. steep the hong hua. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very delicate. It will yeah, yeah, dissolve yeah. right into it, mm -hmm. and use throughout the day, or make a pre-made powder, and mm -hmm. it's a great way to uh, add to the diet mm -hmm. for prevention of uh, mm -hmm. the pain in the chest uh, due to yeah, vagina pain, mm -hmm. chest beat pain. Mm -hmm. So uh, another, I'm glad we touched on that, and that's it's interesting that. Uh, that was my question for so long Actually, about the yeah, shallot. Yeah, shallot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, because uh, that will be, uh, I think, somewhat, even though the Western uh, dietary, they uh, talks about that shallot can be helped, uh, you know, angina pain or something, oh, might be. Okay. Yeah. But then actually, you know, we talked about that is like a dietetic thing, uh, like a powerful recipe. But just say, only just for the daily basics for food, the share by, uh, you actually can be soaking in the vinegar. Mm. Actually, that is one note that uh, you might be not very really can be pay attention because in the uh, in US mostly we make pickle is like cucumber, uh, or what else uh, to make a, a pickle? Okay, but uh, the small shallot, actually you can sometimes find out they selling in the market. They Pickles. put in the pickle. That also good too. And then eat the yeah, just eat the as a like so a, pickled shell. Yeah, like a pickle. Nice. But then pickle will be you know pickle is the cucumber, so we be not as many. Of course, it's still like a good health food. Uh, eat because of vinegar. Right. Okay, but not as a, like this one that kind of strong for uh, you know angina pain. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so that will be what the uh, probably we, you know uh, people good to uh, know that. Okay. All right, great, and mm -hmm. that's a uh, a lot of fun to go over shallots and the strength of shallots because mm -hmm. uh, it's something that's common in cooking, mm -hmm. tastes so good, and. Uh, there's a lot there for coronary artery disease mm -hmm. to go yeah. over. And we had talked a little bit but about But actually, Sanchi. you know what, the shallot is similar to like a garlic. Uh, if, you know, uh, you um, want to be, you know, stronger, uh, might be, is come, you know, like we say the pickle shallot, maybe will be stronger. Because the shallot, like a garlic, you, if you cook too long or something, might be, will be, because the, actually the, active ingredient is come from you know some you know like spicy uh, you know like onion that kind of right thing. spreading yeah 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 so then might be the you know better way stronger to be a medicinal is probably pickle <laughs> can we can we do that at home by soaking it in Chinese a white vinegar or black vinegar uh, yeah same idea so you know the uh, white vinegar that would be uh, good but just say it's very sour Okay, then the black vinegar will be remain the similarity effect, but is less sour, is more acceptable for people who have, you know, uh, sensitive stuff. So we're trying to make it easy for you and for your patients to do things. So uh, what you can do for your patients is then give them the herbs they need that you order from the herb store to then combine with foods they can get at home and then create everyday cooking teas uh, they can create everyday uh, soups and really begin to change their lifestyle uh, fundamentally so that they have uh, a healthier diet. And uh, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about um, sun chi powder with huang hua, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. And they'll be finishing up also... Uh, if people have any suggestions or questions about courses they'd like to see at Health CMI, we'll do that. But we're very excited about uh, beginning to work with people like chefs 
in terms of getting uh, a lot of recipes across uh, and then working with our er herbal medicine uh, to get that going. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, we can give you some uh, free or that kind of uh, uh, recipe to be used. <coughs> Major herb is <coughs> excuse me, sun chi. So then everybody knows sun chi is the uh, kind of the pseudo ginseng. Uh, Besides, you know the uh, invigorating in the blood. Actually, we be also we be uh, tonified the chi too. So then. Uh, uh, we had study uh, the sun chi, whatever you take, how many amount, or you know how long on the body, uh, won't cause any uh, you know ha any uh, problem. So then the sun chi the, is good up, but the problem is that uh, same thing too is the taste is quite a bit bitter. So then we try to be give little bit different kind of the uh, tasty uh, the flavor to make people more interesting to be doing that, okay? So the first one, there will be what? We use the sun chip powder. Uh, there will be what? Again, use a little bit saffron, okay? To be made like a uh, saffron flavor. But also, we be make the function much stronger, okay? We mentioned already the Hong Kwa, actually, same thing is mercury in the blood category. A second one, there will be what? We use the sun chip powder, but mix it with the sun jar powder. That will be make the taste sour. Okay? But, you know, subside the bitter taste. The third one, that will be even better. But that will be pretty tasty. Okay? So then we be use the, uh, you know, the uh, chicken, organic chicken, to make like a soup. Then later on, we put Mix it, the sun chi make like powder, then the hay moor like a powder. Then all both is con, you know, mix it together. Then we be like it's just stirring with the soup. So that will be uh, make, you know, uh, powerful, but pretty tasty, uh, you know, like chicken soup. But it's medicinal, okay? Will be good for, like we mentioned, prevention, the, you know, the angina pain. Okay, so uh, now we'll be also keep continue to we get something wisdom from the, you know, uh, Huang Di Nei Jing about, you know, like the five grants according to like five elements. So then we'll be what? Uh, one of the kind of, uh, we say the uh, five grains associated with the heart, because now we talk about coronary heart disease. So then we be what? Uh, we need to be eat more like gao liang. Sorghum. Okay? Yes, gao liang uh, in here might be, uh, of course you can buy it from the uh, like Asian market. But I don't think you had much more chance to buy it from the mainstream, you know, the uh, like food chain store, like a Safeway, those kind of... Did they selling the uh, sorghum? You you can get sorghum. It's probably sorghum. the most popular grain in Africa. Less so here. Quinoa is definitely more popular than sorghum in terms of grains. Yeah, so that's what uh, I think. Uh, we will be probably just replay to the you know what uh, quinoa. Yeah, it really looks like a same kind of you know the plant. The color too is the same. The size is the same. Okay, so there will be what, because the outside is uh, very red, okay, and uh, also we be, um, uh, inside we be have so much fiber. Yeah, I think on the left side that is the sorghum. And there's a popcorn someone made with the sorghum next to it, so I thought that was fun <laughs> to show a little bit, uh, very creative. But a very popular grain, uh, particularly in Africa. Uh, yeah. But sorghum, very healthy grain choice uh, when there's coronary artery disease. It's just making those correct choices yeah uh, the corridor i think that would be very simple and easy to uh, buy it in whole i mean you, you know in a health store but even though in the what uh, like uh, costco those kind of big costco. Chain, yeah uh, they uh, also uh, is organic too so then uh, whatever we cook rice or whatever we cook like oatmeal or you know whatever we say cook those kind of you know, uh, sorghum with uh, something, another bean or something, then we put those things together. 
so that will be very helpful for the for the heart. That is, you know, from thousand years ago, couple thousand years ago, Huang Di Neiji already say that because we say that is the, you know, associated with the heart. It's the red color. So the redness, you know, right into uh, five grain theory, the mm. redness of the <clears throat> sorghum uh, lets us know that it benefits the heart. And then, of course, modern studies go ahead and now discover that the colors are related to different things. You know, we mm -hmm. find, oh, reports mm -hmm. celery benefits the liver because it's green. It goes right mm -hmm. along with five element mm -hmm. theory. Mm -hmm. So no big mystery here. Same thing with Hong Hua. It's mm -hmm. red. Yeah. Definitely invigorates uh, mm -hmm. blood into the heart. Mm -hmm. Uh, blood and heart being one and the same in the five element system. So look for the colors of foods in dietetics. Mm -hmm. They will always guide you correctly. Um, and we'll, we'll go over some more of that with the colors of foods in a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, yellow, uh, orange for the spleen and stomach, chi, etc. Mm -hmm. So those are great guides uh, when mm -hmm. trying to make uh, healthy cooking dishes. And another uh, you know, five uh, element very related with the uh, associated with the heart in the vegetable uh, there will be uh, now that kind of vegetable selling everywhere even though including the in the same way but people not really know how to be exactly use it for you know to be like a dietetic treatment uh, what's that then there will be like uh, um, chive so I think the chive is also selling in the same way but they are use it <coughs> different way in Western cooking. I think people just look like, <coughs> excuse me, chop it in pretty small pieces. Right. Then on the, uh, put on the like uh, potato. Oh, it's nice that way. It's a topping, it's yeah. a garnish. <coughs> but uh, when we want to be used more medicinally to associate with the heart, we need to be changing the how to cook it. So one of the <clears throat> methods, we say, if you want to be very medicinal, except to the chest pain, whatever we talk about, uh, you know, like angina pain, or on the before in the TSM system, uh, we also related with something like Dita, uh, uh, something like an injury, for example, like an accident, something, you know, or uh, spot, you know, injury on the chest, then people will be feel it, you know, on the very pain, sharp pain on the chest. So I can introduce one of the kind of very simple method um, to try. Uh, they can be uh, very effective. So what's that then? Because like we mentioned, if you like uh, Western cooking, you just put the chive, you chop it into very small pieces. Then you put on top of them something, another food like a uh, Garnish. potato yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Then just make the flavor. It's nothing related with the medicinal effect. Not strong enough. No. So then we be what? We put the chive. You can be put it in the uh, not too s small pieces. Uh, for example, like, you know, two uh, inches or one inch, they kind of long. Then you chop it to like a whole bunch. Okay. Then you blanch. Then you eat just like as many as you can, then usually you can eat like, uh, even though like uh, uh, four ounce or even half pound or something without problem after you cook. Then another stronger method will be what? Uh, we can be using the juice machine to be make the chive, uh, make the juice, the fresh juice. So juice the chives, mm -hmm. powerful. Yeah, there will be jiu chai zi, okay? Then we can be, again, uh, can be uh, add some red wine, mix it together. But that is like, uh, on, uh, on the traditional, we don't have the red wine, actually. Uh, but then, uh, you know what, what we, we learn the formula. I think everybody know it, something called xie bai bai jiu tang, or ban xia. Uh, bai jiu, uh, bai bai jiu tang or things like that. Mm -hmm. Bai jiu is one of the, you know, what, uh, rice wine. Then, you know, in here, so uh, the uh, why I mean, the red wine, even though more popular than the, you know, the rice wine, then you can be used the red wine to be 
repays the whatever the you know tradition that we say the white the wine. white white yeah. uh, sake basically, yeah, the sake uh, basically is the traditional white <coughs> uh, sake from China. Mm-hmm. But then uh, sake being the Japanese term mm-hmm. for the wine, um, mm-hmm. so by ju. Uh, but in this case, uh, chive, chive juice mm-hmm. with red wine or with white, white sake, sake, which we can get easily, Chinese uh, white. Yeah. Also, um, that actually, that's one of the recipe on the before, you know, the Kung Fu master. When they had the school, you know, the ch- uh, student get injury, you know, because they practice each other, then they will be what, uh, get the, you know, uh, something accidentally to be like punch the chest or somewhere. <laughs> so then, you know what, then they, the Kung Fu master can be immediately, of course, they make something uh, like the Da Zhao, okay, but that is another choice, okay. So that will be what, we just use it, the fresh uh, chive, then make a juice. Then we mix it with the uh, alcohol. So then the alcohol in here is one of the idea is we call, you know, like uh, invigorating the blood to make the, you know, the circulation will be, you know, more active. That is something like, uh, you know, just the agent. But the main function is still come from the chive, okay, the juice. But uh, if we say just eat the regular, um, we don't make the juice, but when we just eat like a veggie related with chive, they will be what? Because the chive is a lot of fiber, okay? So then they will be help, you know, the bowel movement, um, you know, but also will be what? Uh, they have some dissolvable fiber too. They will be what? To clean up the uh, arterial system. That's what the idea. So we get that kind of... Uh, wisdom is come from the you know Neijing. Do you think too strong if we add siabai <coughs> with the chives? Mm-hmm. What about shallots or siabai with oh, chives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stronger, definitely. Yeah, flavor can be a little challenging. So uh, because that's what the name you know formula <laughs> one because siabai bai jiu tang. Okay, uh, that is what uh, you know gua lo siabai bai jiu tang. Right, uh, that is the formula later we for chest be pain. So then the share by like we mentioned, is a shallot. Then by jiu is this one. But then, uh, you know, guao we can be replaced like uh, uh, those uh, chai juice. So backing up a little, uh, the formula Jeffrey's referring to, guao lo, share by, by jiu tang. Uh, many formulas we use uh, in Chinese medicine, we mm-hmm. use uh, water, three to one decoction, things like that. Here we're using uh, the rice wine uh, to... Um, to go ahead and, and uh, make the herbal formula. Uh, here, uh, you add gualo and shebai. Uh, in the case of uh, this formula, it could be shallots. Uh, so think about using uh, a rice wine or a red wine, which is more popular in America. And of course, the red, we know, has the resveratrol, and it's very good for the heart. So uh, there is a lot of support for a little bit of red wine in the diet. Yeah, uh, do you have about some kind of like folks medicine? Some people will be put the... Uh, like an onion, okay, then soaking in the red wine, okay, then we be what? I think that actually is a kind of the, like, uh, mixing, you know, the Chinese medicine and, uh, you know, the Western, Western idea. things, okay, because the red wine is not traditionally had, uh, no. you know, we don't have red wine in the uh, in Chinese, uh, you know, wine industry. But that will be some people. Uh, report that is pretty good for you know like uh, uh, prevention the uh, angina, angina pain yeah, yeah. but also can be help you know the cholesterol or high triglycerin too so it seems like it's uh, and what we're looking at with chives and shallots it's the onion family in general mm-hmm. we know it dissolves phlegm we know its character we know it moves the chi and so here we are getting rid of stagnation and dissolving phlegm, and this is something to open up the coronary artery. So the onion family is very good. Again, watch the stomach chi, watch the acid. Uh, be careful with this, the yang uh, energy in the stomach uh, as not to upset it. Let's take a moment to review some concepts we've gone over and also to introduce some new ideas. So here is a very simple juice for reducing high blood pressure uh, with its cooling and soothing functions. 
Here you see depicted in the bottom right Chinese celery. It's a little deeper green, a little longer than American celery, which you see up top. And so this is a juice made from celery, watermelon, and potato juice. Here the watermelon, we're using a stronger part, the white flesh and green rind. So this is our Soothe the Hypertension Juice. And we'll take a look at a few more things to review. In treating hypertension and high cholesterol with dietetics, there is the uh, vinegar soybean or vinegar peanuts. So that's black vinegar, which can come in very large jars, often used with cooking, with uh, also some regular vinegar mixed in, one-to-one -one ratio for everything here steamed soybeans or raw peanuts and soak for at least one week to really get that pickling effect that you want. And every morning eat about 10 pieces before breakfast. This is used in dietetics for lowering blood pressure, blood sugar and cholesterol and also clearing the liver spots. Again, it's not, this is not um, going to the doctor and getting a pharmaceutical. This is something that we build into the diet to benefit those who have hypertension or high cholesterol issues. T taking a look at another food uh, what I'd like to cover today, the young loofah. So young loofah is actually very soft, tender, su it's sweet and cooling, enters the liver channel and stomach channels. Uh, very common in Asian markets. Loofah clears the heat, relieves toxicity, and cools the blood. Lufa treats phlegm with heat, coughing and wheezing, hemorrhoids, blood lin, so urinary tract bleeding disorders, boils, and promotes lact lactation. So we can make a stir fry with hemu herb, green onion, onion oil, and seasoning with lufa, which moves through the channels very nicely. So Chinese grapefruit is pomelo. It has a slightly stronger medicinal function. American grapefruit is also very good. So more common in the Asian markets is pomelo. However, we can use grapefruit. And the rind of that is juhang that we use in our herbal medicine cabinet. So let's take a look at uh, grapefruit and the many wonderful things that it has to offer. Grapefruit is low in calories, rich complement of bioflavonoids found within, it's high in fiber. It's good with people with weight loss issues. Also, sometimes we have them put lemon in the water as part of their diet too. And grapefruit has a nice benefit to lower cholesterol. We'll take a look at a few more topics of review, and then we'll have a look at some fresh foods also and what they look like and go over that. So diabetes. We covered a lot today with diabetes. Uh, very important is Jiao Gulan with bitter melon tea. So bitter melon, very common in Asian markets. I've never seen it in an American uh, conventional market or health food store. Jiao Gulan with American ginseng tea, also good for diabetes with uh, yin deficiency and qi deficiency. So the bitter melon is more for clearing heat and toxins and cooling, uh, whereas the American ginseng has its tonic properties. So we can choose between them to stabilize the blood sugar and benefit patients with diabetes. So weight control. No soft drinks. No ice water. This slows the metabolism. Makes our bodies think it's winter time. A nice combination is bamboo shoots, fresh or dry, with tungshin chai, winter melon, uh, seaweed, and tofu. A great weight control soup. 
people can have a lot of it they can fill up on this and not gain weight acupuncture points with electro stim the four gates of the abdomen one sent around the navel on all sides stomach 25 cv11 and cv4 complement this wonderful weight loss soup remember foods that are high in fiber that are low in carbohydrates are particularly good for people with issues of obesity so bamboo shoots are a very good choice in the diet fresh bamboo shoots they can be rather large as in this picture keep in mind that bamboo shoots do have a, a fa nature so for people who are having sudden skin eruptions for example we don't want things that sprout up or grow fast in in their nature so in those cases bamboo shoots might not be a good choice in small quantities it will not express a very strong fa nature uh, fa nature meaning has it can have a deleterious effect as well because of its inherent nature as does for example shrimp has a toxic nature and on the skin it can also be a problem yet shrimp we can use also to benefit those seeking fertility so they have an upside and a downside so bamboo shoots for people seeking weight loss we covered the 22358 soup today for the treatment of hypertension and high cholesterol which is the the name indicates the proportions in the soup so lean pork meat with our blood thinning heimu or black mu or shengjiang ginger and hung zhao and water so the 22358 soup is a nice addition to the diet and again remembering that we tell our patients these are not you know pharmaceutical replacements they are part of a changing lifestyle a changing diet so that we don't give rise to issues such as hypertension and high cholesterol and we'll take a look at a few more slides of review now So, Dui Mingzu, Shanja, Juhua, and Gangmicha, or more commonly pronounced in its Japanese pronunciation is Gangmicha. And so the Mi would be my M A I. And we can see that the toasted rice with green tea, with chrysanthemum, hawthorn, and Dui Mingzu. So the Dui Mingzu can be toasted slightly, or you know, you can pan fry it a little, make a nice toasty flavor. It makes it a little easier on the stomach. It gives it a nice nutty flavor. And while hawthorn alone, shanja alone, is very good for lowering cholesterol, it is too sour for some people. And this is a nice combination with the Dui Mingzu, the Juhua, the Geng Mi Cha. Dui Mingzu we also use for people wanting to have weight loss. So for high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and high triglycerides, Dui Mingzu, Shanja, Juhua, Geng Mi Cha Ti. Just put it in a cup, add hot water. Coronary artery disease. So here we take Shanja, Hung Hua, Xie Bai, and cook it together. Or just soak in hot boiling water, again pouring the water right over it. And then this makes a soup. And by just pouring the hot water over again, we're getting a more mild flavor. Again, Xiebai is stronger than shallots in terms of its medicinal function for chest B pain, angina pain, uh, and other issues of coronary artery disease, but shallots are an approachable ingredient that we can find in the store and work well. Garlic has a similar property. Onions have a similar property. Shallots are a little more specific in this case for the treatment of coronary artery disease. Shanja, Hanghua, Xie Bai. And let's take a look at another topic. Gallbladder stones or infections. So, Pugong Ying Soup. So the whole dandelion, you can pick it in your yard, fresh, and make a soup. It's much stronger than just the leaves you find in the supermarket when, you, when one makes a salad. So you're taking the root, everything, and then you just make the soup. 
add honeysuckle, jinyanhua, which you can also have fresh in the garden. It's actually uh, better to have it fresh than dried. It's very difficult to keep that much fresh honeysuckle around. So pick some from your yard for your yard for infections to really up the strength at the end. You can add mang shao to the cup, careful with its high purgative actions, but its softening properties will help move the GB stone. Add Jin Chen Chow for stones, our gold coin herb Jin Chen Chow. And you can combine with Li Dan Pian or Long Dan Xie Gan Tang. When consuming this recipe, you, patients can take the herbs at the same time. Sherlin, so urinary tract stones, we take Jin Chen Chow, our gold coin herb, Yi Ren, now available in some supermarkets, Jobs, Tears, Pearl Barley, as it's called in many cases, with plantain leaf, which we can pick from the yard, Chichan Chow. More commonly, we see in the herbal clinic, Chichan Zhu, known for its promoting water properties. Plantain leaf, also great for the skin. So as an, a dried herb, even, it can be added to formulas along with things like honeysuckle, Jinyan Hua, to benefit the skin for heat and toxins. And in this case, we're combining those with Donggua winter melon. Winter melon, it's almost as large as most watermelons, bigger than a small, uh, well, I mean watermelon, excuse me. And, but it's, it's white, it's not as sweet, it has a more appropriate use with savory dishes, holds together nicely in soups. So Jin Chan Chao, Yi Ren, Che Chan Chao, and Donggua for urinary tract stones. And notice the mild flavor on these. That's what we're going for. And that's why in this formula for UTI, for urinary tract infection, we replace Mu Tang with Tong Chao. So here we take bamboo leaf, Dan Zhu Ye, with licorice, Sheng Gan Chao, some Sheng Di Huang, and Tong Chao. Something that is very safe to take on a frequent basis for people with repeated UTI. Uh, the mutang is stronger. It's not something we want to have the patients necessarily take on their own every day. They might drain too much, drain the qi. But with tung chow, it's a more mild function, but also a more mild flavor and more approachable as an everyday soup. Blood lin, so urinary infection with bleeding. Yumi shu, now that's easy to find, corn silk. Very simple heat clearing diuretic by Malgan and Deng Shen Chow. So for the herbal part of these soups that we can give to people to make for themselves very safely with literal no, literally almost no contraindications, remember that we can give them uh, large amounts to keep at home to prepare. So especially if someone is suffering from chronic urinary, infe urinary infections that lead to bleeding, they can have this at home, the Bai Malgan and Deng Shen Chow. Add it to the corn silk, the fresh corn silk, and make a tea. Now we're going to take a look at some basic historical data and general principles of Chinese medicine dietetics. Emperor Qin Shi unified China in approximately 221 BC. The Qin Dynasty was the first unified and ruling dynasty of Imperial China and introduced the building of the Great Wall of China. Some scholars attribute the initial writing of the Neijing, the Yellow Emperor's inner canon, to the Qin Dynasty. The Neijing is a compilation of two books. The first is the Su Wen and the second is the Ling Shu. Both works comment on dietetics. Historically, the Su Wen, the questions of organic and fundamental nature, uh, makes some of the very first written commentaries on flavors. And they are, for example, excess sour intake causes overactivity of the liver and hypofunction of the spleen. Excess saltiness weakens the bones and may cause muscle contracture and atrophy. Excess saltiness causes heart chi stagnation. 
excess sweet intake causes the heart chi congestion and restlessness. Excess sweets imbalance the kidneys and cause the face to become black. And excess bitter intake disturbs the transforming and transforming function of the transporting function of the spleen. Excess bitter causes stomach distension and impairs digestion. So excess bitter intake disturbs the muscles and tendons. Again, excess sour causes overactivity of the liver and hypofunction of the spleen. Excess saltiness weakens the bones and may cause contracture and atrophy of the muscles. Excess saltiness also causes heart chi stagnation. Again, excess sweet intake causes heart chi congestion and restlessness, and excess sweet imbalances the kidneys and causes the face to become black. Excess bitter intake disturbs the transforming and transporting function of the spleen. Excess bitter causes stomach distension and impairs digestion. So excess bitter intake disturbs the muscles and tendons. There they are, four basic flavors mentioned right off in the Su Wen. The tongue is what we refer to uh, originally as a soup and later describes a medicinal, a medicinal tea decoction. Uh, so the tongue originates from a reference to a dietetic soup. That's also a very interesting historical anecdote. Dietetics in general is great for children. Uh, foods taste better than medicinals. Uh, the elderly can receive or absorb recipes more easily than concentrated decoction, so dietetics are appropriately, appropriately given to the elderly. And dietetics treatments are great for chronic disease patients. They're not as appropriate for acute patients. So the children, the elderly, and people with chronic diseases benefit most from dietetic preparations. Let's go over some of the different types of dietetic preparations. Well, there's fresh juice. Uh, this is common in Western dietetics as well, and that involves usually fruits and vegetables. For example, the Wu Zhi Yin, the five juice drink. This drink moistens and tonifies yin. Regionally, there are several variations on the five ingredients. Conceptually, this drink is a fresh vegetable juice, often containing herbal ingredients. A basic combination is fresh lotus root, daikon, water chestnut, Asian pear, and carrot. Other combinations include lugen juice with fresh maimon dung juice. So the five juice drink we will see appear in many different permutations and combinations. People say, oh, well, this is a traditional five juice drink. Uh, we went over a couple ideas here. The uh, fresh lotus root, daikon, water chestnut, Asian pear, carrot, or perhaps the lugen juice with the maimen dung juice. Fresh lotus juice, u zhi, is included in some herbal formulas to stop bleeding and tonify yin. It is available in supermarkets, uh, particularly Asian supermarkets. Not so much in the health food stores yet. Li zhi, Asian pear, is especially helpful for children with a dry cough due to climactic dryness, due to climactic dryness in the autumn. During cold weather, the use of home and office heating systems may cause dryness with the heat in the air. Breathing dry heat causes dry throat and coughing with blood. And eating Asian pears uh, and Asian pear juice and other yin foods are indicated at this time. Mati, Chinese water chestnut, clears heat, promotes body fluids, and dissolves phlegm. It is sweet, cold, and enters the stomach, lung, and liver channels. It is used in the Wu Zhi Yin 5 juice drink for thirst due to heat and bodily fluid depletion, but may also be combined with cucumber and tomato for a similar function. Freshness is important for the juices. Packaged vegetable and fruit juice products involve more processing and possible additives, which may alter or diminish the function of the juice. In Chinese dietetics, simple is better. Watercress, Shi Yang Chai, has a strong, cooling, medicinal function. Watercress shares a similar name to that of American ginseng, Shi Yang Shen. So Shi Yang Chai, Watercress, Shi Yang Shen, American ginseng, because of its venerable medicinal properties. 
watercress is considered to be a cancer preventative food. A recent study of tobacco smokers notes watercress is a rich source of PEITC, an effective chemoprotective agent for cancers of the lung and esophagus induced in uh, this laboratory study that we're quoting. So that's the, the juices, and we see that commonly in the Western Front as well as in traditional Chinese medicine. There are several other types of preparations. Very common is the medicinal tea, yao cha. Yao cha is the mixing of tea leaves with medicinal herbs. And in the Chinese medicine clinic, ground or cut herbs are combined with tea and are added to the tea bags. Weight loss teas are popular, including the mixing of tea with Dui Mingzi, He Ye, and Shan Jia. Uh, there are many pre-made weight loss tea bags. However, there are many types of obesity, therefore standard teas are not as effective as customized teas based on a differential diagnosis. Huye, Shanja, and Jue Mingzi are great in many weight loss teas. Tea has been associated with anti cancer properties in many studies. Uh, many epidemiologic studies show uh, evidence that green tea, for example, is inversely associated with the risk of breast cancer. Uh, one study, and I quote, our findings provide some support for the hypothesis that tea consumption reduces the risk of ovarian cancer. Perhaps this is pointed to some, pointing to some of its antioxidant properties being helpful in this respect. So, the teas. Yao Cha, medicinal tea. Another formulation is Kofu Ye. So, Ko means mouth and Ye means liquid. Translated, this means taken by oral solution or taken orally. This type of drink is usually a cooked herb that is sterilized and put into a glass ampule. Often these drinks come with straws. The straws can be inserted directly into the ampule. Ren Shen Kofuye is popular. That is ginseng that is decocted, sterilized, and put into an ampule with liquor. There are several other types of drinks, including royal jelly, that are common in this form. Also Huangqi, astragalus, uh, may be found in an ampule with liquor. It's great for preserving it and having it last a long time. Yao Jiu, that's another form. Yao Jiu is, uh, well, Yao means herbal medicine and Jiu is translated as alcohol. So Bai Jiu, white alcohol, Huang Jiu, yellow alcohol, are usually made from rice and are at least 40 proof. Why am I saying that? Well, yes, there are wines that we can make more fresh in Chinese medicine from uh, sake grade that level or less proof, but the, the ones with the higher proof, such as in uh, brandy or vodka, have a natural ability to kill bacteria and therefore allow uh, the safe storage of herbs in this form. Herbs are typically soaked in the alcohol for approximately one month for extraction purposes. This type of formula preparation is most often used when the functional properties of alcohol are desirable. Alcohol is warming improves the circulation of blood, and goes through the channels. It opens the channels. Common uses include putting an herbal mixture into the alcohol or just ginseng. Many formulas are made by a martial arts shifu, a master, a teacher, typically for injury recovery and strengthening the body purposes. It is not uncommon to store this type of formula in a large jar. Another formula is made by putting three types of snakes into the alcohol for purposes of opening channel blockages. This is often used for the treatment of arthritis. This formula is known for its dramatic appearance. Since the alcohol is warming, it is common to see this type of preparation used for the treatment of cold and deficient arthritis pain. Wuja Pi and Mu Gua are often added to these types of strong alcohol, so we can put them even in uh, strong rice, rice wine, 40 proof, or uh, baka, things like this. Uh, in particular, gin is very warming. So for people who are very young, deficient with arthritis pain, the juniper and the gin, particularly warming and good for uh, cold, damp bee pain. Tang, or soup. Tang is the major form of dietetic treatment. It is similar to herb tea, the decoction tongue, but something tasty is added. 
sometimes more mild flavors as well. The use of the word tang as soup does not have the decoction meaning as is used for herbal formulas that are outside the realm of dietetics. Dang, gui, shen, zhang, yang, ro, tang. This soup is made by do double boiling lean goat meat, yang, ro, ro meaning meat, with dang, gui, ginger, and hung zhao, red date. This soup is prized for its flavor and has a very warming temperature. Therefore, it is more appropriate in the winter and not often served in the summer. Let's take a look at another form, the Yao Zhu or Yao Fan. Zhu is translated as kanji and fan is a type of fried rice noodle. Fan is often spelled fun as in dishes such as chow fan. Uh, more appropriately pronounced chow fan, served at Chinese restaurants. So kanji, a form of rice soup, is also served at many restaurants, but is less common than fan in the USA. So yao zhu, kanji. The hui shan yao go ji zi gu is a healthy kanji made with go ji zi and shan yao. So again, kanji is usually cooking rice about 8 to 1 in water slowly into a porridge. And yao fan, the noodle. Uh, one noodle recipe is made by combining steaming uh, rice, quail, dang shen, frog, and shan yao in a rice cooker combined with rice and water. Once cooked, it is formed into the noodle. Another form is the sugar soup, tang shui. Shui is translated as water. One example of sugar soup is Lianzi Bai He Tan Shui. This is made by combining dried lotus seed, which is astringent and tonifies the spleen, with dried Bai He, which calms the spirit. Soak the herbs and cook until soft. So lotus seed for the spleen and dried Bai He, calming the spirit. Soak until soft. Next, add Bing Tang, rock sugar. To the Lianzi, to the Baihe, and the water. So, this is often combined after dinner, uh, presumed, uh, presented after dinner, excuse me, and helps improve the quality of sleep. We'll see that even in large dim sum restaurants. Other ingredients commonly added to the lotus seed dried lily bulb soup are Hung Zhao, red dates, and white cloud ear fungus, also known as Bai Mu Er. So, not uncommon in a large Chinese restaurant particularly in a Chinatown area, to see a sweet soup uh, presented after dinner time. And you may see some Bai Mu Air in there or some Hung Zhao, things like this, Bai He, very soothing for the sleep with its entering the heart channel properties. Another form of dietetics preparation is Mi Gao. Mi is honey and Gao is a thick syrup paste or jelly. Mi Gao is a thick honey syrup with herbs added. Pipa Gao is a common cough syrup and typically has pipa ye, loquat leaf, with herbs such as yuan shi and xing ren added to strengthen the stop coughing dissolve phlegm functions. Perhaps Chuan Bei Pipa Gao, things like that, Chuan Bei Mu with Pipa Gao are, uh, with pipa are very, very common in the uh, acupuncturist offices. They're very mild and they work very well. Another preparation is to boil loquat fruit, uh, add stop coughing herbs, and then add a lot of honey to preserve this dietetics formula. The dual function of the honey is to both preserve and add flavor, and it makes this syrup, again, very valuable in Chinese medicine dietetics. Another form of gao is guilin gao, a little thicker. Translated as turtle essence jelly, this medicinal dessert is known for its benefits to the skin and overall complexion. To make Guilin Gao, turtle shell is cooked for many hours. Next, herbs such as Tufu Ling and Ginseng are added to the jelly-like residue. Guilin Gao is available in prepackaged cups, bowls, pop-top cans, things like this, and is often available in concentrated powder form. Inexpensive brands of Guilin Gao do not contain turtle shell. And most brands use farm turtles and not wild endangered species of turtles. Another form of dietetics preparation is the cracker, the wafer, Yao Bing. 
Herbs and medicinal foods can be prepared in a cracker or wafer form, and it's popular with children. Shanja hawthorn berries prepared in a wafer form, which is often consumed with herbal medicines to offset the bitterness. Shanjiao is uh, sour. It treats meat stagnation, and this wafer is consumed to benefit digestion. Some brands of hawthorn wafers contain undesirable additives such as food coloring, you name it. So not a true Shanja wafer. Gourmet quality hawthorn wafers are occasionally available at Chinese supermarkets. Yao Gao. Yao Gao is a medicinal pastry or cake. Gao refers to pastry or cake in this medicinal preparation. Primary forms of Yao Gao are steam buns and breads. Shan Yao Gao is tra uh, traditionally a steam bun made from Shan Yao, wild mountain yam, Chinese yam, but it also may be a bread. The dough is made with the powder of Shan Yao, which can be mixed with other powders made from Lianzi, Shan Jia, various herbs, potatoes, and other types of yams. Together they form a starchy flour needed to make Yao Gao. So steam buns, which I personally like a lot, uh, can be made into medicinal pastries or cakes. There are even weight loss formulas that use Fu Ling to make a flour. So many ways to make a Yao Gao. So you make a powder from Fu Ling and then make steam buns uh, from the Fu Ling, very good for weight loss. It benefits the spleen chi, promotes the water to drain the dampness. Another dietetics preparation is Chai Yao. This is the main course of the meal, and it is the incorporation of herbs and medicinal foods into cuisine. One well-known dish is Dong Sheng, Zheng Cheng Sha Chao, cordyceps, and it is double boiled with duck. First, eat the duck and then drink the soup. Dong Cheng Sha Chao is valued for its ability to tonify the lung and kidney and for stopping coughing with bleeding due to deficiency. And finally, the most popular amongst little kids, number 12 on our list today of dietetics preparations is candy. So those are herbal lozenges for coughs or throat, dry throat. Um, there are many popular brands that are herbal candies, boha, Different types of mints are commonly found in these candies, and they're, again, mostly lozenges for the throat. In America, I see different types of mineral and vitamin therapies also added to the lozenges, maybe some zinc, vitamin C, things like this. So those are several of our dietetic preparations, ways of presenting medicinal functions to people without them having to take a pill or have a decoction or concentrated extract. Thank you for joining Professor Pong and me on our dietetics journey today. Remember that you can log in with your username and password at www.healthcmi.com to take your quiz and receive your certificate of completion for acupuncture continuing education online. Remember, quizzes can be retaken as needed. There is no charge to do that again if needed. Questions or comments, go to the website, healthcmi.com, click contact us, and let us know what you think or what you'd like to know. For the Healthcare Medicine Institute, healthcmi.com, I'm Adam White, licensed acupuncturist. We look forward to sharing with you again.